This is one, two, five, zoom on, guy. And what you're looking at right there is my valves. As you can see, my whole screw is apart. Just to gain more easy access to the valve through the intake valves. I got the whole thing apart. So, so we're going to adjust our valves. Um, I'm gonna adjust my valve. I'm gonna do the intake valve because it's gonna be easier for you guys to see. The same procedure is followed when doing the exhaust valves. We're gonna adjust the valves. Uh, we're gonna skip a couple of steps because I figure you guys know how to take the plastic panels off of your scooter. You're going to remove the spark plug. You're going to um, turn the uh, crank over by hand to top dead center. And we'll just jump to this part. We're gonna remove the uh, valve access cover and we're gonna go straight to it. So Yamaha specs are uh, 100,000, 4,007 inch to 6,007 inch cold on the intake side and 6,007 inch to 8,007 inch on the exhaust side. So I'm gonna jump ahead. I'm gonna just do the uh, intake side and uh, yeah, we'll do that first and I'll do the exhaust later off camera because it's kind of harder to get to so it's not gonna be interesting to look at me struggle so yeah we'll do that so I already started by loosening up my valve and I loosened it all up uh, let me just tell you guys a couple of good parts or a couple of parts here let me just describe a few things to you guys this here is the adjuster screw it runs through the rocker arm onto the valve stem the top of the valve stem right here this is the locking nut right here I've already loosened it Okay, so now Yamaha specifies that the bike runs best at 600 thousandths of an inch and 400 thousandths of an inch. But let's go with 600 thousandths of an inch because the gap is bigger. What does that mean? The gap being bigger means that you will not have to go through this process so soon. Again, you understand? Or at the next service interval, when you go in here, you will still have a gap. Maybe it'll be down to 500,000, which is still in spec. So you won't have to do any work. You just have to check it out. Okay, it's good. Button everything back up. Happy riding. C'est la vie. Hasta la vista. All of that good stuff. So anyway, I'm going to set this to 600 thousandths of an inch. The widest gap. So I'm going to take my 600 thousandths on my feeler gauge right here. Right on. Now, I'm gonna use this tappet tool set, okay? It's a valve tappet tool set. It comes in a set of threes, it comes with different sizes here, it comes with a flat or a straight, and then it comes with different sizes, it comes with a, uh, a nine millimeter wrench and a, a eight, a nine, and a 10 millimeter wrench. Loosen that up. I'm gonna grab this first. It sits right on top of the head. It's, a, it's actually a box on the top, so, or a square. I'm gonna take my six thousandths of an inch feeler gauge. I can't, I don't know if you guys can see, but I hope you guys can. And I'm going to slide it up in here. And now I'm going to just wiggle it back and forth, trying to find that sweet spot where I get a little bit of drag on the feeler gauge and between the feeler gauge and the valve stem. Okay, I think I have it right about there. Okay, let's change angles a bit. All right. Okay, now I got a little drag. Okay, good, I'm happy with that. Okay, take that out. I'm gonna grab my wrench, wrench eight millimeter. I'm going to tighten up this adjuster nut by hand. I mean this nut, this locking nut by hand. So this way, and minimize any chances of this moving. Try not to rotate this. Now this is where a steady hand comes into play. I'm gonna put the wrench on like this. Then I'm gonna insert this inside the hole and I'm going to just gently nudge it up, locking it. Yes, good. So now I'm gonna to try to hold this stiff without rotating it and just lock this screw into place. It's locked. Now I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna see if the six thousandths of an inch still fits. which it does, all right, good. Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna check a bigger size, seven thousandths of an inch, because if seven thousandths of an inch fits in, then I have to repeat the process. This is seven thousandths of an inch right here. If this fits in, I gotta go back in and adjust it. All right, so this is seven thousandths of an inch. 
and it no longer goes in there so I'm done with this valve anyways this is the procedure I use guys um, you guys could probably do this as well I'm pretty sure you guys are intelligent so I just wanted to show you guys how I did one I'm gonna do the rest of them I don't want this to be a very long video but then again here we go this is the adjuster screw, the locking nut, rocker arm, valve stem, want to fix. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I'm pretty sure you guys have an idea. So now I'm going to do the same procedure here, and then I'm going to go down here, and it's between six to 800 thou on the bottom on the exhaust side. So I'm going to put it at 800 thousandths of an inch. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyways, again, this is 125 Zuma Guy with a quick video of how I work on my scooter. And I'm going to button everything back up. I just really want to thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys a million times over. Again, this is 125 Zuma Guy adjusting my valves. Hey, take a look at this, guys. Hey, let's do this right here. Look at me. Yes, Mr. Jackson. Where is it? Right here. That's me from my days at Honda when I was a tech. At Honda. Anyways, this is 125 Zuma Guy and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Hi, I want to thank all my subscribers for watching. This is 125 Zuma Guy. And if you're watching this for the first time and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, there's no better time to do so than the present. Stay tuned for more interesting scooter vlogs, easy how to repair videos, and scooter product testing and reviews.